in this video we will be doing the question number 21 till 30 of october november 2021 variant variant 11 question number 21 it states that element X and Y react together in a reversible reaction to form X, Y, 2. Reversible me reaction means they are going in the forward direction as well as they are going in the backward direction. Reactants and product reactants, they combine together to give you the product or product will be disintegrating to give you the reactant back again. Now, let's see further one mole of x is mixed with one mole of y even though the ratio is one is to two one mole of x is reacting with one mole of y so this means that one mole of y is completely consumed but half a mole of x is consumed so half unreacted the mixture is left to react until an equilibrium position is reached now, equilibrium position क्या होती है कि एक वो एक dynamic equilibrium वो होता है कि reactants जो होते हैं वो react करके product देते हैं और product disintegrate होके reactant देता है और forward and backward reaction की जो speed होती है that remains the same. Now, when the speed remains the same, that means the आपका जो concentration of the reactant and the product, the amount of reactant and product remains unchanged. So, bizarre तौर पे लगता है कि कोई भी reaction नहीं हो रहा. So that is basically uh, what is equilibrium position. कि forward reaction and backward reaction की जो speed है, वो same है. Reactant combine करके product दे रहे हैं और product combine करके reactant दे रहे हैं. Both ways the reaction is going. Which statement about this reaction are correct? After the equilibrium position has been reached, when the reaction has acquired the equilibrium, the reaction stops. As I told you, the reaction does not stop. It continues. The reactant combines to give you the product. The product combines to give you the reactant. So according to the, uh, our knowledge, the statement one is wrong. At equilibrium, there is more than 0 0.5 moles of X present. We have seen the ratio that half a mole basically 0 0.5 moles of X will combine with one mole. So we will combine this combine combine in this particular ratio. Mein, 0 0.5 jo hai, wo one mole of Y will react with one mole of Y. This will react with product. But when the product jab disintegrate, karega, to definitely 0 0.5 jo ki remaining is more than X at the equilibrium state. So that means the statement two is correct. Now, at equilibrium, when both the reactions are going simultaneously at the same speed, there is less than one mole of x y two present. Now, if we molar ratio, see here, so x one mole hai, y two mole hai, or x y two be one mole hai. So x y two basically one mole form ho raha hai, lekin usse pehle wo equilibrium state mein pahunch gaya. So we will be getting that means the x y two which is a compound being formed that will start disintegrating into x and two y into the reactant. So automatically will have the less amount than one mole of the product there. So that is the reason we have. 2 and 3 correct and because 2 and 3 statement is correct so the answer for this particular question is going to be D. Question number 22. Two solutions are prepared. Solution P is basically hydrochloric acid which is 0 0.050 mole per dm cube. Solution Q is basically 1 mole per dm 0 0.1 mole of butanoic acid. Like ki dono acids hai, lekin hydrochloric acid is considered as a strong acid or butanoic acid is an organic acid which is considered as a weak acid. Hai? So strong acids are those acids which completely dissociate ठीक है ये completely dissociate होगा और जब ये completely dissociate होगा तो ये आपको maximum hydrogen ion concentration देगा और weak acids they get partially dissociate ठीक है ये partially dissociate होगा और because it will get partially dissociate तो it is going to give you a less concentration of hydrogen ion ये हमारी understanding है let's see आगे किस तरह से ये चीज सपोर्ट करती है क्वेश्चन को टू ग्राम टू सीएमक्यूब स्ट्रिप ऑफ मैग्नीशियम रिबन इज पुट इन 100 सीएमक्यूब ऑफ ईच सॉल्यूशन 
to this solution also they have added magnesium and to this solution also they have added magnesium fizzing is seen the fizzing whenever a metal is react made to react with an acid fizzing is because of the hydrogen gas being formed in both the solution but the fizzing is faster in p than in q so in this case the uh, the hydrogen is being produced. Hydrogen jo hai, wo faster rate pe produce ho rahi hai. Aur yaha par ye jo hai, fizzing is slower in this. Now we know that this is being a strong acid. So definitely the rate of reaction hoga wo higher hoga. That's why you're getting uh, hydrogen at a faster pace. And the weak acid, the reaction with the metal will be slower. So you're getting hydrogen at a slower pace. Yeh my understanding of the question. Let's see how this understanding is supported in the form of observation. Which statement helps to explain this observation? It says that the magnesium react with the P to form salt, but does not form a salt with Q. It will be forming the salt with Q as well. But the rate of reaction is going to be slower. So because the, the second part of the statement A is wrong. More particles are dissociated in solution P. More particles, yes, because I've been talking about this being a strong acid. So this will completely dissociate or dissociation hoga to aapko hydrogen ion yeah, and the, or the chloride ion aapko maximum milenge. Okay? Than the dissociation in Q because Q is basically a weak. So partially dissociate or yes, both the part of the statement B are correct. Solution Q, uh, Q contains stronger acid than P, identify this statement is wrong. The particles are closer together in Q, then in, that's again incorrect. So for this particular question, according to our understanding, a question number 22 answer is going to be B. Moving to question number 23, which compound can be formed by the precipitation reaction? So insoluble salts are prepared by the precipitation reaction. So out of these, sodium chloride is soluble. So this will not be prepared by precipitation. This is again soluble salt. This is again all the nitrates are soluble. Yes, barium sul lead sulfate, barium sulfate, silver chloride. These are basically your insoluble salt. And because they're insoluble salt, this is going to be prepared by the precipitation reaction. So answer to question number 23 is D. Coming to question number 24, in this particular part, it says that in a neutralization reaction, which chain in particles occur? The particles can be your atoms, they can be your ions, they can be your molecules as well, depending on the type of substance you have. Now, we know that the neutralization reaction is when an acid reacts with an alkali, they give you salt and they give you water. Now, when we write down the Ionic equation for this, we have the ionic equation H positive aqueous plus giving you OH negative aqueous and they give you water in the liquid state. So basically what is happening, the ions are combining together to give you a molecule. Okay, now let's see uh, which particles, uh, which change in particles occur. So is it atom converting into molecules? No. Is it ion converting into molecules? Yes. So B is the correct answer. At, so uh, atom not converting into ions and ion not conver converting into atom. So question number 24, as I've proved through my explanation, the answer to this question is basically B. Question number 25, in order to decide which would be the better nitrogenous fertilizer, student calculate the percentage by mass of nitrogen in both ammonium sulfate and ammonium nitrate. Which row gives you the correct data? So, uh, what you have to do is you have to find out the percentage by mass of nitrogen in both ammon ammonium sulfate and ammonium nitrate. Now, we have to, on the basis of our calculation, then we'll be picking up the correct option A, B, C, or D. So I have ammonium sulfate here. Ammonium sulfate's formula is NH4 whole twice SO4. And the another compound is basically ammonium nitrate. Now the MR for ammonium sulfate is basically 132. And we have two nitrogens over here. So that means the nitrogen is the uh, two nitrogen will make 28. So I have two nitrogen atoms divided by the MR of the compound of ammonium sulfate multiplied by 100. I will be getting the percentage by mass of nitrogen in this as 21.2%.
Similarly, I'll be calculating for ammonium nitrate. So the MR for ammonium nitrate is 80. And again, I have two nitrogens, so 28. Multiply by 100, I will be getting the percentage by mass of nitrogen as 35%. So looking at this day, the, the values of the calculation, I'm getting the correct answer as ammonium sulfate, I, it's 21.2. Ammonium nitrate, the percentage of nitrogen by mass is 35.0. So the correct answer will be your answer C. Moving on to question 26, the manufacturing manufacture of sulfuric acid by contact process involves the use of three different raw materials. How many of these raw materials are elements? How many of them are compound? And how many are basically mixtures? Now, we need to understand, we need to see the equations being for uh, the equation involved in for the process of contact process. It is made up, the sulfuric acid is made uh, through different stages. So the first stage is where sulfur and oxygen combines to give you sulfur dioxide. So these two are basically your raw material. This is your raw material one. This is your raw material two. Now what happens in further the sulfur dioxide further combines with oxygen and this is your reversible reaction to give you sulfur trioxide this is the main equation this is the phase one or the equation or the process one this is the process two or the reaction two now this is basically where the reversible reaction take place aapka vanadium pentoxide use hota hai 450 degrees celsius 2 to 3 atmospheric pressure Ab अब आपसे ये सिर्फ रॉ मटेरियल के हवाले से बात कर रहे हैं तो एक रॉ मटेरियल तो आपके पास सल्फर हो गया दूसरा रॉ मटेरियल ऑक्सीजन हो गया और तीसरा रॉ मटेरियल अगर आप इस प्रोसेस की बात कर रहे हैं इस रिएक्शन की बात कर रहे हैं तो तीसरा रॉ मटेरियल आपका सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड अगर आप डायरेक्टली सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड को यूज करते हुए अगर आप तो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर थर्ड रॉ मटेरियल सो वी हैव ऑक्सीजन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एयर सो वी हैव द three answers C, we are getting sulfur in the form of element, compound we have sulfur dioxide and mixture we have air. These are basically the three raw material we'll be using for this particular process where the sulfuric acid is produced through the contact process. In question number 27, they have given us the diagram. Uh, uh, this diagram shows a part of the periodic table. We know this is the part यहाँ पर आपके metals होते हैं, यहाँ पर आपके transition metals होते हैं, in between group two, this is group two and between group three, then uh, this is four, five, six, seven, group seven we have and this is basically your group eight, which are basically which are basically your noble gases. This is group seven, okay. Now, uh, this is a part of the periodic table, right? Now, let's see which two letters represent the elements that can react together to form covalent compounds. I know that covalent compounds are two non-metals. So, for covalent compounds, we have two non-metals. This is metal, this is transition metal, this is two non-metals. So, you have two non-metals in this direction, which will be uh, sharing the electrons to form a covalent compound. Question number 28, which statement about elements in the periodic table is correct? Element at the left hand side of the periodic table are metals. As I already told you, that okay, your left hand side is your group 1 or group 2. Hote hai, group 1 and group 2 are metals. Hote hai. So this part of the statement is correct. Left hand side of the periodic table are more metallic than those in the same period near the right hand side. So as you move forward, they have non-metallic characteristics enhance on electing or towards the right hand side of the same period you have the non-metals right so according to uh, whatever we have read right now in option a is absolutely correct let's read the further the element at the top of the group lose electron more easily no just say number of 
शेल्स इंक्रीज होते जाते हैं और जब नंबर ऑफ शेल्स इंक्रीज होंगे जो बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन है वो आपका दूर जाता जाता है दिस इज योर न्यूक्लियस राइट सो यू हैव द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स एंड नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स या जैसे जैसे आप दूर जाएंगे वैसे ही आपके बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन दूर जाएंगे एंड दे कैन बी इजिली डिटैच देर तो uh, इसके हिसाब से आपका uh, ये दिस इज बी पार्ट इज इन करेक्ट टॉप ऑफ द ग्रुप लूज इज इलेक्ट्रॉन लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इसका मतलब वो मेटल्स की ही बात कर रहे हैं क्योंकि मेटल्स ही लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन करते हैं देन दो इन द सेम ग्रुप दैट आर इन लोअर in the prior table so that's incorrect the element the same group of the prior table have the same number of complete shell of electrons the so complete shell means other than the valence electron so we can see here yahan par uh, ek complete shell hai yahan par do complete shell hogi they don't have the same so this is incorrect element in the same period of the prior table have the same number of electron when you talk about the same period that means is ke valence electrons outer shell electrons means they're talking about the valence electron so first group 1 ke one valence electrons honge group 2 ke two valence electrons honge and so on so same number of valence electron nahi hai so that is again giving uh, the op the option d is incorrect so answer to 28 is basically your a 29 Which statement about the properties of the element in group eight? The group eight we have the noble gases. The group eight we have noble gases, and they are inert in nature, and they exist in monoatomic form. Monoatomic form means they exist as a single atom, helium, as single atom, neon. Okay. तो डायटोमिक क्या होते हैं जैसे हाइड्रोजन दो एटम्स टुगेदर दे विल बी फॉर्मिंग द मॉलिक्यूल ऑक्सीजन इज अ डायटोमिक सो ये इनकी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक होती है एंड ऑल ऑफ देम एग्जिस्ट इन द गैश स्टेट ऑल ऑफ देम एग्जिस्ट इन द गैश स्टेट दैट्स अनदर फीचर वी नीड टू रिमेंबर अबाउट द नोबल गैसेस ऑफ ग्रुप 8 एलिमेंट्स हीलियम टू जिनॉन इज करेक्ट द आर्गन रिएक्ट्स विद द आयरन टू फॉर्म अ कंपाउंड वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दीस आर इनर्ट गैसेस दे विल नॉट रिएक्ट with any element under the normal scenario so that is wrong a is incorrect helium is less dense than air yes because air ka even though the air is a mixture but we need to understand that because we know the composition of air the percentage of the components of air to air ka mr calculate takriban kiya jata hai as 28 and helium is a gas jiska ar jo hai that's two So being an AR of helium as two is definitely it's going to be uh, it is going to it's going to be less denser. So then the air. So statement B is correct. Let's see further. The element change from gas to solid. As I told you, they all exist in the gaseous state. So that is incorrect. The element exists as the covalent molecule. They do not exist as a molecule. They always remain in the form of mono atomic as a single atom. Okay, so that is again incorrect. So the answer to the question number twenty nine is B that helium is less denser than A. Question number thirty, which two statement indicate that the metal M may have a proton number between twenty one and thirty? Metal M. So for this, we can refer to the periodic table that which chunk comes under this category? Metal. M twenty one till thirty, it conducts electricity. The metal M. If we have prior table, see, then this is the group two or group three. In between, the block of transition metal exists there. It conducts electricity specifically. Transition metal's uh, properties are that they show variable valencies. Okay, like for example, you have iron. Iron two. प्लस होता है और आयरन थ्री प्लस भी होता है ठीक है तो दे शो वेरिएबल वैलेंसी दे फॉर्म कलर्ड कंपाउंड्स दे फॉर्म कलर्ड कंपाउंड्स दे एक्ट एज अ कैटलिस्ट राइट so these are basic very important properties which are specifically shown by the transition metal apart from the other metal metallic property like they conduct electricity they have a high melting when boiling point so these are very specific to the transition metal and this particular m which has a proton number atomic number between 21 and 30 belongs to this chunk of transition metal so it we will be looking for an option where we will be seeing these properties specifically it does conduct electricity all the metals does it does not react with the water okay it form the basic oxide with mo and m2o3 that's showing us that they are the oxidation number is 2 plus and here the oxidation number is 3 plus so yes because we know that they will be showing the variable 
valency. So this is a specific property of the transition metal. Then they will be forming the colored compounds, colored sulfates. So this is again something specific to the transition metal. So three and four are specifically for the transition metal. And three and four is basically your option D. So that is the question number 30. The answer will be D, which is specifically for the transition 